Hello, happy people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at David Sherman's Rocky Rolls Gold, uh, which was published in 2015 in this collection that we've been doing a deep dive into the weird Wild West. Um, as I take a look, I've been obsessed with the Asian Lunar for about six weeks now or so. Ever since I watched the Wild Wild West from the 60s, it's 104 episodes, uh, 50 minute long, uh, you know, uh, four season uh, series from the 60s that combines elements of, of steampunk and sci-fi with spies and an old West setting, which I like a lot. And this one has steampunk in it too, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this is my first short story that I've ever read by David Sherman. He published his first novel in, 18, in, in 1987, uh, which was called uh, Kn Knives in the Night. He's written a lot of military stuff, including some science fiction, military science fiction. Um, he was a Marine um, he, in the Army, straight out of college, and that has informed a lot of his things. And he's published more than 25 novels. And, and he's written a few novels, one of a few artists. Uh, so far that have created these things uh, that has a Wikipedia page. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Right? Um, again, so we're doing a deep dive into the Weird West, which combines horror and science fiction uh, and fantasy uh, with the Old West setting. And in this case, in addition to the steampunk, we have two fantasy elements, uh, uh, stone trolls and dwarves. So, that, so this is fantasy combines both steampunk uh, in the, uh, the, the, the steam tunnels, um, and there's also a steam gadget that you'll come across in the early things. So the key, uh, setting that's happening here in this short story is that we have our two main characters, and one main character is a Pinkerton detective who's trying to find out what happened when somebody goes missing. Uh, so they are trying to track down a, a missing person, um, in this hotel. Um, and then this Pinkerton detective is joined up by this card shark. Uh, and so that they met previously on a riverboat cruise. And then that's it. That's the key concept. I loved this short story a lot. It's my second favorite short story in this collection. I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. You can definitely tell that Sherman has developed himself and his career. His writing is good. It reads well. Um, it definitely kept me on, on the edge of my pace. It was memorable. I finished it a few days ago and I'm still really enjoying it. I enjoyed it every page and every paragraph uh, that was in this short story, Rocky Rolls Gold. And so there you are. That is the that is the uh, short story. I tried to keep these reviews spoiler free as a reminder. So if you've not read it, you won't be spoiled. You're just another basic plot that you kind of read on the back of a novel. And that's it. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. So if you want to talk about spoilers or, or my review, if you've read it, um, go ahead and talk to me about it in the comments below. I would be more than happy to talk with you further about it. If you like this video, hey, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling, and I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.